Hey, Red Raider fans, Robert Giovanetti joined by a Red Raider head football coach, Joey McGuire. Coach, great time of year, right? Ready for some spring football? I'm ready for some March Madness. Yeah. I'm fired okay. up. Yeah. I'm fired up for a basketball team and Grant and and uh, can't wait to watch them Thursday. But before that, we'll have our first practice on Tuesday and, man, really excited about where we're at. Hey, before we get there, if you look behind us, I've always thought this is the greatest place on earth. Yeah. But it's even better now. It's, it's, uh, it's really... I don't think you can understand until like you see the different views from different places up there of how what kind of impact it's going to have on this stadium and it's beautiful. Um, it will be whenever you're talking facilities, it'll be second to none. Yeah, exciting. And if you haven't had a chance to come out, drive by, take a look at it. It looks fantastic. If you haven't gotten your season tickets, make sure you get. Got to get them. We well. got we got to have everybody here. Um, you know, we've played great at home. There's a reason because of our fan base. Uh, but this place is going to be loud, and you know everybody's got to come back and see the the <laughs> new old the new old. T. Yes. Yeah. Hey, take us through, since we last saw you in the Independence Bowl, kind of what you and your staff have accomplished from December to get ready where we are right now. Uh, you know, the, one of the biggest things that we've tried to do is really take a look at ourselves as a staff. Um, we went back, we watched every game from last year in February. Uh, we talked through them, how we could get better, uh, some things that stood out, goals going into spring football to how to get better. And, you know, that's the thing that I think uh, our team is growing. Our team's been in off season. Our team's getting stronger. We're faster. We're a bigger football team. But the challenge is also, like, we have to grow as a coaching staff. We have to grow individually to be better. And then as a whole, we've got to grow as a coaching staff. And so that's been the big push since the Independence Bowl and that, that uh, Cal victory is, uh, you know, growing as a staff. Got a new member of the staff, a familiar face, another McGuire, no yeah. relation. Yeah. But tell us about Clay and what to expect from Clay. Yeah, I'm really excited. You know, um, Clay and I go back a long ways, and it really goes back to his brother. Uh, his older brother, Cody, who played here, was a great right. player for the Red Raiders, uh, was my very first defensive line coach in 2003 wow. in uh, Cedar Hill. And then I was lucky enough to you know, be able to hire Clay. Um, thought he was going to come the first time, and it didn't work out. And you know, it worked out this time that we were able to bring him home. And I'm excited, man. He's a great teacher. Uh, you can see the progress already with the offensive line. and that. Hey, at the end of the day, that's what it is. Like, I'm excited. I'm always going to be excited. I'm not going to temper my excitement and go into this coach speak. Uh, but the one thing that we have to do is we've got to be better up front, and we've got to keep our quarterback healthy. If we do that, then everything that we want as Red Raiders, I really believe are going to happen. How, how important is that to have Barron now here and healthy and, and be able to I, – I know you're probably going to limit maybe a little bit what he does yeah. this spring, but another year under his belt and the leadership he gives, you still have a strong quarterback room as well. Yeah, we have a really strong quarterback room, and I'm excited. You know, Jake Strong has really grown. We're able to bring in Cameron Brown, who adds a total different dimension to our offense. Um, and then Will Hammond was able to come in, uh, you know, at semester. So we've got four that go through spring football. Uh, then we got Will Burns over there playing some baseball right now. Uh, but we got four going through spring, excited. But the biggest thing that I've seen, I think the two things with Barron is one, how he's become more of a vocal leader. And um, that, that has been really evident uh, in this off season. And then two, I think he is able to take a big breath, uh, feel the nerves and everything, but also feel that he's the guy. Like he knows going in, he's QB1, he's our starting quarterback. And um, you know, how the offense goes is how he goes. And, and so I think that's been one, I think that's why he's more vocal, but I've also seen a different Baron Morton. All right, take us into that head of yours. I know it's a complicated, intricate place, but <laughs> that's a scary place. <laughs> yeah, what what do you hope to see? You get out there on Tuesday. What what kind of are you saying? Okay, I want to see this today. <clears throat> yeah, we we have uh, you know a couple things. We've got to be more explosive on offense. Um, that comes, I think, with a really strong tight end room. Uh, that comes with a totally different wide receiver room. Um, I think that, that this is going to be a very talented wide receiver room, and you know they've got to continue getting on the same page with Barron. 
Um, but, you know, I'm really anxious to see. You know, ties are going to be ties. Right. You're talking about somebody that's going to be limited. You know, he's going to go through spring, but, you know, he's probably not going to get a lot of live reps. He took a lot of uh, hits in the fall, you know, so I want to keep taking that off his body. He's not going to be real happy at times with that because he's such a competitor. But that allows us to get some of our younger guys, you know, in a position uh, to really see who's going to be that number two and number three back. Um, I'm, but I think the explosion, so explosiveness of the offense, the offensive line continuing to grow, uh, that, that's what I'm excited and that's what I want to see. I don't know if we'll see, you know, everything, you know, day one's always interesting, uh, but I think we're going to see that when it, by the time we get to the fall, by the time we get to Abilene Christian, you're going to see a more explosive offense. Um, yeah. go, ahead. go ahead. I was going to say, a smart man told me, we play defense here in West Texas too, Yeah. and you've got some faces to replace, so tell, talk us through that a little bit. Yeah, so, you know, um, got a text this morning, you know, from one of the guys that does such a great job for us of, of reporting about the Red Raiders, and he was asking, you know, what, what am I excited about competition-wise? And I'm really excited about the secondary. You know, you have two vets coming back um, in C.J. Baskerville. You know, I see him being our boundary safety. There's competition there, but he'll be hard to beat out. And then uh, Lux is our best corner, and, you know, he's played a lot of football. After that, you've got really battles everywhere. Who's going to be the number two behind him, but who's going to be the number one opposite? Jalen Peoples has had a great spring. Um, Mo Horns had a great spring. We added uh, Devin Cromwell, who's a grown man, um, you know, and I'm anxious to see him. Funny story real quick about him. He's from Canada. He's played Canadian football. Uh, when we were talking about man coverage, he goes, Coach, you're telling me they don't get to run at me when the ball snapped? I said, no, man, they're going to be in a stance. And he goes, I'll be able to cover these dudes. <laughs> and so, like, ready to see him. But you turn around, you got A.J. McCarty now that's eligible. Is he going to be the starting star or is it B.J. Jordan? We've got a battle at free safety with two young guys, uh, Chapman Lewis and uh, – you know, and, and Jordan Sanford. And so the secondary, there's a lot of talent there. There's some really, really good battles going on in the secondary. So I'm excited to see, you know, what goes on over there. The thing I want to see on the defense side of the ball, the two things, we can't hit our quarterback, but we've got to be better at getting to the quarterback uh, this spring. And then we've got to take the ball away. You know, whenever you look at, at um, the teams that are playing in the college football playoffs, the teams that have played in the Big 12 championships, you know, the, the defense has hit the quarterback, but they also take the ball away. And so we've got to do a better job of that. That's going to be a big part of it. All right, last thing, we got, we're going to talk a lot between now and then, but we're going to end April 20th in Midland. Great yeah. fan base down there with the spring game. And it's always good to be with our Midland fans and down in the Permian Basin. No doubt. I'm going to get to that, but I'm going to say this because you know Kenny Perry will get mad. It's number four on the plan oh, to win. Yes, that, oh, special yeah, teams. Sorry. Yes, that's my bad. So we're, No, no, no. No, I like it. He'll be mad at you, <laughs> not me. Um, but then with special teams, uh, our kicker's back. And, right. man, he made some big kicks. Oh, uh, you know, kicks, especially yeah. after the first couple of games whenever he kind of got yeah, – He was money. Some, he that. was. He. I mean, you look, he was one of the best kickers in the nation. Special teams-wise, we were one of the best in the nation, you know, uh, week in and week out. We got the best returner coming back, and Dre McCray led college football, Power 5 football, and return yards. Uh, but we He's got to so replace. Oh, man. Yeah. And such a, a physical runner. Um, but we got to replace the best punter in the history of not only Texas Tech, but the history of the Big 12. And, uh, man, we got, a, we got an Aussie. Um, you know, we got uh, Jack, Jack Burris is, is uh, you know, going to do a, a, a great job, you know, with us. And he has a huge, huge leg. Um, he's got a great mustache, too. I've been giving him a hard time about that. But, you know, he, Burgess has got a really good chance of being special. And so I think the, the special teams is just be consistent of continuing to get better. We made such a huge jump from year one to year two. Mm -hmm. And so that was a big part of it. And, and uh, so we, we've got some people to replace, but we got a lot back on that side of the ball. All right, Coach Perry, we got that in. Also, spring game, Midland. I, I, there, we've got to sell it out, you know, uh, whatever that stadium is, you know, I know it holds somewhere between 12 and 15,000. I know there's going to be a great tailgate before the game. Always is. I know Midland's excited about being there. Always But are. we need that place to be packed. We need it, um, you know, for a lot of different reasons. But 
you know, we're coming there for a reason. We want to show how much we appreciate the Midland Odessa area. They've been so great to us. It's such a strong fan base. And so we're coming there for our spring game and we need the Red Raiders to show up. All right, Gauntlet has been thrown to the fans of Midland. You got a little time, that's April 20th. But before then, spring football is here, Coach. Let's, let's go. go, let's go. All right, wreck them. Wreck them.